Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know why it always asks me that. I mean, I thought I put that in like the first time, but then it just keeps asking. Wait a second. Lying, congressional style. Just gotta make sure I'm not really like carrying some weapon that uh, weighs too much. Cause I thought I picked something up that weighed a lot. Oh well. That's weird. Is there a way to sort this stuff? I thought there was. No? Damn it. For some reason, ammo normally doesn't weigh anything at all. All of us here thank you for ever Give me dirty water. Why'd you give me dirty water? I don't need that. Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? Uh, oh, <laughs> what's up?
I try to get rid of things that weigh something first. stuff repaired. And then go back into selling. All my caps are right here that she used for uh, repairing. And then I can go back and try to sell more stuff. Good hunting. See. Huh. My combat helmet was kind of broken. Wasn't providing any uh, armor protection. Yeah. What is it? Well, all. There we go. Yep. Alright, um, what am I doing? Going to Big Town, I guess. Visitor? Who'd want to visit this hellhole? I'll bet you're here to rape and pillage us, aren't you? Aren't you? Not that it matters. We're all super mutant snacks anyway. The only thing you need to know is that we're all doomed. Sooner or later, they'll get every last one of us. What are you supposed to be anyway? Some kind of hero here to rescue our friends from the muties? Bah! You're just here to cause trouble. <laughs> They took him north, to that old police station, in Germantown. No use in going up there, though. They've already been eaten, or worse, by now. Why? You thinking about performing a miracle and rescuing their sorry butts? Yeah? <laughs> Think you're all that, huh? Well, at your own funeral, I certainly won't be attending. Yeah, you're telling me. Everything that could go wrong, goes wrong. The super mutants and slavers seem to take turns beating the crap out of us. There's no way for us to fight back, so we just keep building barricades around town. Now nah, we've been pushed back all the way. Nowhere left to run now. Most of us came from Little Lamplight. We got too old, so they kicked us out. Brats. Always heard stories about how great Big Town was, where the grown-ups go. There's nothing here except death and sand. 
Mm. We're all. Such an optimist. Somebody cut up, huh? Yoink. Sisters? Later. I don't know what the council was thinking.
We were mobilized in the early evening. My security clearance isn't high enough to know this on official level. But I have it on good authority that we're under threat of a Chinese attack. I don't dare to share this with the girls. Most of them are a solid sort. But I can't trust that some won't desert to try and protect themselves or their families and wind up spreading panic, especially on flimsy rumors based on flimsier intelligence from DOD. We haven't been briefed yet, but it's probably safe to assume we'll be on an evacuation detail in the rural areas. Our unit scored somewhat poorly in the last round of drills, and the high flyers always get the urban details. We'll be stuck herding farmers and hermits in the hills. This can't have happened. We don't even know if it had, was the Chinese, but DC was hit. My god, Andrea's unit was on evac detail right on the belt loop. Dear god, more bombs. What's happening? Our unit has been assigned to the National uh, Guard Detachment. They drove all night from Pennsylvania. We're doing our best to keep the survivors pl placated while these boys get their strength up. The looting gets worse every day, and it's a small town. There can't be much left, and there's already been uh, one scuffle at the canteen. These guardsmen arrived just in time, I feared. Dolores and Rebecca deserted in the night. They had the goodness not to rob us blind on our, our way out. I had trusted Becky with the keys to the canteen in the artesian well we locked up on day one. Several of our survivors were talking rubbish about seeking refuge in a nearby vault. The girls must have decided to go with them. Damn fools. If anybody made it into one of the, those things in time, they bloody well aren't letting any of us in now. I suppose I should be glad we have a few less mouths to feed. I took the NCO's advice and set up a quarantine for the worst of the radiation victims. We know better than to think they're contagious, but most of our survivors don't, and it helps keep them calm. We also have an easier time smuggling the bodies out at night. It's not so much that people die, it's how they look when they go. They all think they'll just lose a bit of hair, maybe get a rash. It gets so much worse than that. We're low on Prussian blue. Most of them don't know what that really means, for which I'm thankful. One of the local doctors in our camp uh, knows about a cancer treatment facility not too far from here. We're sending some of the guardsmen out to investigate if they can recover any filigrastim. We might be able to stave off widespread radiation sickness a little longer. These days I feel like more of a preacher than a nurse. We've lost hope that the reser reservists will be back. I can only hope they died with some scrap of honor and didn't abandon us. Without medication, people are succumbing to radiation sickness, for which there is no hope of treatment. We can do nothing more than make our patients comfortable as we await the end. When the pain killers and whiskey run out, prayer is all we can offer them. I've taken to wearing a head wrap. I don't want them to see how much of my own hair has fallen out. I suppose it seems only right to say goodbye. I ought to know it's hopeless, but maybe one of my sisters is still out there. And I couldn't go without leaving some kind of farewell, just to know what I did that I did everything I could. I tried, and I only wish that I could be the last to go, so I could have helped all the others before they met their own end. surprising as the super mutants like don't like uh they don't scout outside it's kind of weird they just stay inside the uh germantown hq
I always like my 44. Police headquarters. Yeah, just I didn't get it. My retries replenished. Disappointing. What the fuck? Still, the female is locked up. We'll take her back with us. The tiny male is downstairs. <laughs> he won't be coming with us, will he? <laughs> nope. <laughs> we almost got all those little people from Big Town, huh? What then? Find more. Mm, somewhere else. Yeah, those bleeders are everywhere. We'll get them all. Take them home. Home. Yeah, we need more. 
Prisoners, before we can go home, we'll go back and get more. <laughs> what? Oh, I need a new gun. I want something that won't break. Something that will shoot forever. One of us had a fat man. I want one of those. Huh? What are you? Some kind of human? Why you care? Shut up and go away. Ah, uh, you never any fun. How can that open? Yeah, I probably should get the perk that like has says like strong back, cause I need to increase my uh, carrying capacity. Doesn't seem important, but it is. serious. It was like every single one I picked was wrong and only the last one was correct. Jeez Louise. Yeah, 
really don't hear anything. Sorry for the scare, my wife just forgot to take her pills. This morning everything is okay. Wings on my shoes shrunk, and now the moths won't eat my kidneys. When I shake my state capital, it only yields three furry napkins, but how? My banana slippers are like water boats, because when the moon winks, sometimes it burns my hamster punches. And that's how you get to llama school. What? Okay. Mr. Overlord. What? How? The fuck, man? Overlord. What the? Are you gonna die?
31 XP after all those shots. I don't know. Well, I can eat it, I guess. Killing rad roaches, I didn't expect that. You're rescuing me? Thanks! I thought we were goners for sure. I think the others are... dead. Or worse. That's right! His birthday was recently. Did he make it to Big Town already? Oh, I can't wait to see him. Everyone else is dead. We're taken away to who knows where. Well, except maybe for Shorty. They dragged him off downstairs to the kitchen a while ago. But no one comes back from the kitchen. I'm not waiting around for some super mutant to lock me up again. There's the back door somewhere around here. If you're not back soon, I'm leaving without you. If I'm not here when you come back, meet me at Big Town. And then you close the door. One hour. Kill up. What? Sneaking ability to the max. And then I need to do strong back. There we go. That way I can carry a lot more stuff. Now that my sneaking ability is a lot higher, it's a lot easier to get around.
freak. You're going to eat me, aren't you? Mm, hungry. There's plenty of body parts laying around. Why don't you eat those instead? They're not fresh. Not warm. Taste no. I hope you choke <laughs> the bones. serious Why are you so impossible to kill after him. God damn it. <sighs> you freak. You're going to eat me, aren't Well, I need something I can fire a whole lot more than that then. Forty seven versus thirty one. Twenty four. Probably it's all rifle. Right, Take so many bullets. Thanks. Who are you? Never mind, I don't care right now. Let's go get red and get out of here. You lead, I'll follow. Let's go. Move it. All I'm right.
glad to see you're alive, Shorty. Me too. Now let's get the hell out of here. We can talk back at Big... Get in here. Red. All right, I can fast travel now. Don't even think about it. <clears throat> Don't I count for something? You didn't listen to he me. rescued me at least. The hero returns. Whew, I'm glad to be. Thank you. You're a real hero, you know that? I was going to offer you a reward, but I can put the caps to use buying medicine and supplies. Thanks. I know you've already risked your life once already, but I heard the mutants talking about another attack. They'll probably be here soon. Another soul tech. Thanks for helping us. I just hope we can survive another attack. Probably won't. I wander around town to find chalk and makeup sometimes. Not like there's any place to buy stuff. Oh yeah? What is it? why I never go out during the day. The moon has such a better shine to it than the sun.
You're not um, seeing anyone <laughs> right now, are you? Uh. Oh, um, well. No, 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 no. Go back in Big Town. You cannot take on Supermoons by yourself, carrying a uh, wrench. feel it. Uh, what, you? I gave you the welcoming speech. <laughs> Don't think you'll scare anyone here. You could shoot down everyone in town and I wouldn't flinch. You live in big town, Isn't anything here that hasn't been destroyed or dragged away. You're better off scavenging the dead out in the wasteland. There was a super mutant attack recently, and where there's one big ugly, there are ten more just waiting to grab you by the throat. Then the slavers will come and pick off what's left of your carcass and drag any survivors to Paradise Falls. Skulk up toward Germantown, near the police station. They always come from that direction. Hmm. Nearby? Slavers move quick and come from all directions. Someone else might know where they nest. Nearby. Two very angry types of movements. Slow, lumbering, powerful movements. And jerky, erratic, excitable movements. Both coming for the kill. Sometimes you'll see small, tired dots on the horizon instead of angry, anxious ones. Those are settlers who come here from lamplight. The poor fools. Later. So I don't have to. I don't have to protect them. Yeah, I probably could have taught them how to fight. Yeah, whatever. Next quest. Just go back and tell him that the android is uh, dead. You could go find the android, but that's yeah, okay. you find my what let me see that this is a neuro servo 
unique to the A321. I... And you say you got this from his corpse? I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, oh, damn it! I was afraid this would happen. Out here in this... this... wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. See you later. I could deliver uh, Lucy's message. This is actually what reveals the vampires of the wasteland. So, why not? Let's go do that. Let's go do that. Yes. Yes. What do you want? stops the railroad. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out. Decided to check out the sh Ooh, a silenced 10 millimeter pistol. Heck yeah. You can have my other one. Give me a shot if you need anything else. No problem. Give me a shout if you need anything else. If out of the ordinary. That's secure for hey a there. reason. Hey there. You know, now that I remember, I used to have the 10 millimeter silence pistol. Makes it a lot easier when you're inside a building. Other enemies can't hear you, and you can fire quite a lot, depending on your agility. And your agility helps your AP. Anyways. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. I hope you have yourself a good day, and this is Sweet Tooth signing off. Love you.